to my channel. If you are new, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. If you are not new, it's always a pleasure to have you. My name is Z and on this channel, sustainability matters, which means that I focus on slow fashion, which means that I pull stuff from my closet, I thrift, as well as I swap clothing items. And I try my very best to wear my synthetic items to death. So, with that said, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. If this is what you love, if this is your thing, do subscribe and click the notification bell as well. So, so in this video, I would still be styling the spring 2020 fall leather trend and I'll be giving you tips for caring for your fall leather items that you already have in your closet. So this is the first piece that I have and it is a combination of different materials as you would see guys. And of course, I already have this in my closet as you could see. And this is my way of dealing with my faux leather items. Of course, I wear them to death and I often mix them with other pieces in my closet so that I don't get bored with them. The pants is about four years old and the jacket is a piece that was given to me by my friend Karen in New York. So I really appreciate it. At the same time, these pieces really demand that you care for them. I love this piece because you can you can really zhuzh this up for a night out and you can wear it casually as you see that I'm doing here. And I often do that in order for me to get my cosper wear for my items. This piece is about four to five years old, the overlay and the jacket. Of course, yeah guys, I really, really appreciate this jacket. However, this jacket has been worn, guys, worn. So the second item is this combination of fabric as well as faux leather. And FYI guys, faux leather is another name for artificial leather. Some people refer to it as leatherette, vegan leather, pleather, or just faux leather. It's artificial, so there's no getting around it. Anyway, this dress is a combination of both artificial leather as well as um, material from plants. So it's about seven years old and I love this dress at first sight when I first saw it. It's about seven years old and just fell in love with it because it's perfect for a great evening out. It's a perfect day night outfit um, you look really classy and you look elegant and it's been in my wardrobe and I am really really trying to bring it out this spring and just to get my money's worth because I haven't even worn this dress at least twice so it's really really important for me in this era at this particular time to really style this up or show you ways in which you can style it for me of course it's boots and a really nice clutch I love clutches when I'm going out and I love a nice pair of boots that really complements the look I think it's this is a really really great look to cheer you up and to get you thinking to inspire you of course I love gold jewelry so I'm pairing it with this watch and this bracelet that I, it's a DIY I got I made it from a choker that I have and so yes I, I just love to get bang for my money and of course I'm pairing it with this H&M piece this is a piece that is about five years old and it's a really gorgeous coat really love the way it it just it fits into my wardrobe so nicely it goes with every piece 
of these dresses. So I really love, love this piece. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys. If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys. If you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly, guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. This third piece is very similar to the skirts that I shared with you in part one of this video. And it's just a dress version and it's, it's called shoulder, one of my favorite styles. As you guys know, on my channel, I often advocate the fabric, the fit and the style. So for me, I often gravitate towards this style because I find them very flattering on my body type. And like the skirt pieces that I shared with you earlier, I've been trying to get these out to get more cost per way. But in light of the current situation with everybody self-isolating, I think this is the perfect time to look into your closet, look for inspiration instead of having to go shopping. And I am not like throwing shade of, at anyone who wants to go shopping, but I think this is the perfect time to put better use to your financial resources and save it for when you really need it. So for me, I yes, I do love a great cold shoulder and don't mind me, this is just me showing my appreciation for the style of this dress. And of course, you guys know I love my accessories and I love belts. <laughs> so I invested in this piece about eight years ago and I loved it. I just love the way it paired. Just beautifully with everything every nude item in my wardrobe so when this belt turned out to be such a huge disappointment oh my god guys yeah four leather items are often made from the worst materials ever PU as well as polyurethane and they are the worst items to ever invest in they don't last they are not built to last and what are you gonna do with them you just have to try your very best as I've proposed in my previous video you can turn them into household items or a toy for your pets but this is how I styled that this this is an example of the ways in which I have really really worn this piece in the past I have styled it in so many ways and I enjoyed wearing this piece and yes I must state that I did get my cost per wear because almost every item that I wore during that period eight or so years ago I paired it with either this black or the nude that you have just seen and yes this brings us to item number five and it's the black version of that nude piece that you saw and it's in a state guys it's in a state it has seen its better days for sure and like the skirts that I've shown you it's really falling apart but again this is how I style it and this is an example of how I style it I am still trying to squeeze some wear out of this piece but I don't think I'm gonna be very successful so I think the next option is for me to actually turn this piece into a household item I think maybe I'll probably turn it into a bow for one of my faux leather cushions so yeah that might be a good idea but yeah this is how I style it and I I feel some satisfaction in knowing that I did get some cost per wear, but I would never ever buy pieces like these ever again. Look, guys, look. <laughs> Item number six. Oh, like the first piece you just saw, guys. I really, really loved 
this piece. I love a great peplum style. It's one of the most flattering styles on a woman, a woman of any shape. I find that a peplum style really gives the body some purpose. It gives the body a certain look that you feel confident walking out of the house. And if you do have problem areas around your waistline, it's really a good way to hide those perfect imperfections. So me and peplum, whether it's in or out of style, it would always be in for me and it would be a style that I'll always incorporate into my wardrobe. Thrifting, of course. This, of course, again is five to six years old and it's a great date night piece. It's very elegant, very classy. So if you really want to go and exhibit class and style and to really make a great impression on your date, this is a good way to start. For me, I'm styling it up with that four croc clutch. I love a great clutch. So yes, that is my way of styling this piece and to get inspired for when this current situation is over and I could get dressed up again and definitely enjoy the pieces in my closet. And I'm pairing it with this jacket I got from ASOS about four or five years ago as well. And this is a piece that I have on my Instagram page for sale. I have never worn this piece outside. I've only tried it on, like I'm trying it on here. Because I have so many other jackets that I love pairing this with as well. So. Because I bought this a bit too big, I've decided to resell it and hopefully it finds a great home. It, you can check out my second hand Instagram page, Sustainable Savvy. Number seven is a piece I've shared with you guys before. Yes guys, it is still in my closet. I still love this piece. It's such a great New Year's, Valentine's, a really great piece. To wear out it's it's gorgeous I love the details on it I love the smocking detail at the back I find that the fit is absolutely beautiful such a great fit and for me the fabric is questionable but this was bought at the time when I wasn't paying attention to fabric as you guys know but love the fit of this piece and it's a piece I would continue to wear as long as I could still fit in it just to get my cost per wear. Number 8 is a sister of the other pleather or vegan leather pieces that you guys have already seen and the difference with with this particular piece is that I love the sleeve detail of this piece. Oh my God, I love the open zipper at the back as well. Oh my God, guys, this is such a stunner when you're wearing it. I'm so sorry I don't have a video of it and um, my apologies that these pics are a little bit blurry, but I got this seven years ago and it's still relevant today. So I really, really, I'm really, really happy about it. So if you or your girlfriends have these pieces in your closet, these are some tips on how you could care for these pieces. For me, I've learned that it's important to turn them inside out when you're going to store them or put them away in your closet. I find that is helpful in preserving these pieces and would make them last longer and get your cost per wear. You can place more than one items of the same color on the same hanger and if they are smaller or shorter mini pieces like the ones I showed you earlier, you can fold them and place them on your shelves. Other tips are as you can see on your screen here. I really, really hope you get inspired 
to get more bang for your money. So I hope you enjoyed this video and remember sustainability matters which means you focus on natural fibers, fabric, then fit, then style and you don't buy new polyester items. Polyester is bad. So thank you guys so much for watching and as I always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you.